Okay, let's do it that way. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in Multiple Dimensions Part 37 Web. In today's episode, we were reflecting further on the definition of refactoring. We had looked it up. It means to restructure something, to make it easier to understand, to maintain, to modify, and to perform. And it applies to computer code, and it also applies to composing music, because what else is this if on the right-hand side not computer code telling a computer how to play a piece. And then we realize that basting, which is to loosely sew something together, and refactoring go together, because we loosely sewed this float piece together in the beginning, and then um, when we refactored it, uh, to make it easier to understand, to work with today, it worked out. Uh, we also wanted to work on something that demonstrated path-dependent results. We wanted to get back to adding words in creations. So we made a quadraphonic voice overlay demo using our Reaper program. And we'll just show that briefly here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a demonstration of quadraphonic voice overlay. We live, we live our, our lives from, from start, start to, to end, end in, in what, what appears to be a sequence. sequence. So that was kind of neat. And this is going to be posted and shared with our open mic group. So if you're interested in watching that, take a look at our um, finished work track on YouTube channel, which is Sidearm. We also made a float score video, which uh, looks like this. You know what our score videos look like. And also, in case you didn't notice, we added flute and oboe and bass. So that was what we spent the bulk of our time on today, which we somehow neglected to point out here. We added all this stuff. We added it, and it was intriguing, and it turned out, as we were saying, to be a lot easier to do it because we had relabeled and, and re, re, relabeled the lines and things. So when we started adding the bass down here, line alpha 1, we had a shimmer line for alpha 1 and alpha 3, etc., etc. So it turned out to be a lot easier on us. And then finally, we researched how to add... Um, Usually when we, when we have our audio files here, they're kind of um, dull looking. You know, for example, when I look at the properties of this file, look at the de uh, details. There are no details. I'm looking at the wrong thing. This one. There it is. You see, it never has an artist or a title or anything, and that's always bugged us. So we did a quick research, and look at this one. This is... <clears throat> we got just started. So now it says JN is the artist, and the title is Float Work in Progress. And it turns out this is called metadata, audio file metadata. So we learned how to add audio metadata and it's a free little thingy you can get from the web called mp tag so what we're going to do for you is play the 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 updated float score with its little animations and now uh, you may remember that originally the um, the microphone was driving these these four shapes and colors and things so now we're using the instruments to drive them. And here we go.
So that concludes today's stream. What we really like about that animation is the... Um, it's hard to say what we like about it without it running. But... Um, the oboe is the blue circle that only comes in periodically. So the oboe surrounds the purple flute. And then red is the entire piece, and then orange is the um, the bass only. And the bass is playing the whole time, so the red and the orange are kind of like the the shell that hold the the flute and the oboe inside of them. And then the oboe is a little mini shell that f surrounds and supports the float the flute when it comes up. The flute in the float piece. So our ideas for next time are uh, more research on using Reaper to do that quadraphonic sound. It, re it came out well in the recording, and we're thinking, can we make it do that quadraphonic effect live while we're speaking live? We, um, somehow we have to take that output signal while we're talking like this, uh, which is kind of like, can we do with Reaper what we're doing here? Um, this is a quadraphonic shape and color, and you guys can see it live on the stream. But um, if we were trying to like be a DJ and talk, how would we how would we do the same thing with our with the audio output? We we know how to set up Reaper with four tracks that all arm and record the single voice through our mic, and then feed it out. Uh, we know how to record it but we don't know how to kind of like send it live. If you guys know how, let me know. Uh, but that we're going to continue to research on how to do. Um, we also want to, um, now that we know how to add audio and metadata, make up our mind, you know, what's our standard way of naming, put names and things on there and see if we can't make it be an automated fast process. Then there were some more musical ideas that we have not yet worked on, so we made a list of that here to carry forward. Nevertheless, we did quite a bit today. We'd like to give acknowledgments to Atman Rez, who came back for a visit, Daddy Vader One, and who had some good comments on dialogue, on what does it mean to compose in multiple dimensions, and We Chow Davino, who suggested looking at a, a Chopin piece. So look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Do come back, do take care, and do keep on streaming.